Hey everyone, Sarah the Catholic Homemaker here. Today I want to share with you some cold remedies that my family and I use and just recently used. We have been having some sickness run through our family this week. And yes, you can get a regular cold even with the coronavirus. I think a lot of people think like just because someone is sick, they may have the coronavirus right now. But yes, it is true. People can get other illnesses at this time. I'm sure you all know that, but I just thought I'd put it out there. Um, first of all, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to grow our community. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell for all notifications so you know when I post and I post every Monday at 12 noon. All right, the first cold remedy that we use, and this is the first thing I went to earlier this week when I noticed one of my daughters was starting to get sick. I made all of us egg drop soup and both of my daughters just drank it right up that morning. and. Um, I would definitely recommend anything like liquid or food wise, try to keep it warm when you are starting to become sick or when you are sick. Number two, elderberry syrup. Now I have a recipe that I have on my channel already for elderberry syrup, so I will link to that. And I made a fresh batch of it because I was completely out and my recipe has raw honey in it and you can preserve the raw honey benefits in it as long as you don't put it in right after making it. You gotta wait for it to cool down a little bit. So I would highly recommend making a batch of that or purchasing one if you have somebody who makes good batches of that and you don't really wanna make it yourself. Number three, vitamin C or non-GMO ascorbic acid. Now I'm recommend uh, recommending ascorbic acid over natural vitamin C because in my experience, um, you have to consume at least an entire bottle or more of natural vitamin C, which costs maybe minimum $25 for one little bottle. And ascorbic acid, you are able to get so much more vitamin C per ounce than you are for natural vitamin C. And the research that I have done, your body um, cannot tell the difference between ascorbic acid made synthetically and ascorbic acid found as a component of natural vitamin C. And there have been like many decades of research on it by Dr. Li um, not Dr. Sorry, Linus Pauling and Dr. Klenner, who also studied it on pregnant women, and it has been proven to be very safe, and I've had wonderful benefits from it, especially in my last pregnancy. I had a completely different pregnancy and birth this time around, and I greatly attribute those benefits to having vitamin C, and some people call it their vitamin C baby. So my youngest is definitely my first vitamin C baby. But I will also link to those vitamin C videos so you can see, because I talk about the research in there and link to it as well. But anyway, as you probably all know, vitamin C or ascorbic acid is wonderful for preventing or treating colds. And so elderberry syrup and vitamin C can shorten the duration of your cold, or prevent it from even coming on if you take those on a regular basis. Next, I made sure that we got out of the house, we got fresh air, and we got lots of sunshine that day for vitamin D. And if you don't have sunshine, you could take a vitamin D supplement. I will link to one that we use that is from a natural source. Next, I would recommend taking zinc, and I can also link to the one that we take. Number six is vitamin A, and I would never say to take synthetic vitamin A. Always take it from a natural source. So 
if you can or if you can stomach it, eat some chicken liver pate or beef pate or just straight up liver. Um, you can also take cod liver oil. However, I have been staying away from cod liver oil because I have heard in some carnivore circles that we really shouldn't be eating those polyunsaturated fatty acids, even if it's coming from cod liver oil. So um, I've just been trying to avoid PUFAs or polyunsaturated fatty acids um, completely even in cod liver oil. So I just try to get my vitamin A from other animal sources. And if you feel comfortable doing it, you can certainly do that. But I personally am trying to avoid it. And next, I put a little bit of iodine in some warm milk for all of us. And I use Lugol's iodine. I, I just heard this little tip a while ago that it helps whenever you have a cold. So um, if you're just taking like a couple drops of it, it's, you know, it's not going to be harmful to you unless you know you need to avoid iodine if you have a thyroid condition sometimes you need it but i would definitely say check with your doctor for all of these things of course because i'm not a medical doctor um next i would recommend homeopathic remedies and if you're not well versed in homeopathy then i would recommend seeking out a classical homeopath to match the right remedy to your symptoms because it can vary from person to person and from illness to illness. So it can be a very individual thing. There's not really a blanket remedy for most things. Now, some things there are, but I think especially for the common cold, it can vary so much. There's probably like thousands of different remedies that a homeopath could possibly give you for whatever you're experiencing. Next, I love to make chopped up fresh raw garlic, mix it with raw local honey and some coconut oil. And the honey and the coconut oil make the garlic more palatable, but there's benefits to all three of those. And you can just take like a little spoonful at a time. My oldest, I was surprised she actually was like, eating it by the spoonful and just wanted to keep on eating it. So it actually tasted pretty good, the mixture that I made. So maybe you can get your kids to try it too. Or maybe you could use it as a preventative during this cold season. Next, I actually have them with me, are propolis sprays. Now this would depend if you have like a cough or if you have something in your throat at all. Like if you're just experiencing congestion, you may or may not need this. But I, when Earth Fair was going out of business earlier this year, I bought these two. Um, I'm not completely certain which one is for which, but I think I remember the person in the wellness section was telling me that this Echinacea Golden Seal Propolis is for I think this is for more of a wet cough. I could be completely wrong. And this one, um, it's the Manuka Honey, is more for a wet cough. I could be getting it backwards, but um, I just wanted to have these on hand because my daughter was having a problem with croup in the past and I just wanted to be completely prepared because I didn't want it to get bad and have to take her to the hospital. So. It's nice to have that kind of thing on hand because especially for croup, that can be a really big problem because it actually suffocates children if it gets, you know, in the worst end of things. So you don't want to let it go. You definitely want to start treating croup right away. And last, this is definitely something that is very underrated, but it's rest and sleep, especially in our culture. But I think if one thing this pandemic has done, it's forced a lot of people to get more rest. So hopefully more people are getting rest, but I feel that it is worth mentioning because in our American culture, we tend to underrate rest and sleep. So I hope you found this 
video to be helpful. I would love to hear what you do in the comments for cold and flu and uh, just natural remedies. Until next time, bye and God bless you and your family.